Very good evening, I'm Assad Ahmed. Ancient woodlands deemed irreplaceable and natural habitats for endangered species could all be lost if the government goes ahead with a high-speed rail link between London and Birmingham. The warning comes from the Wildlife Trust who say they've undertaken their most comprehensive assessment of the impact of HS2 and it's not good. Despite that, HS2 Limited insists it's relocated animals and will plant millions of new trees. Let's get more on this from James Waterhouse, who's at Euston Station where the line's going to begin. James. Assad, a very good evening. And the work on HS2 is plain to see. You can see large scaffolding structures wrapped around huge cranes because this is where the main lines will come out of Euston should the line go ahead. And it's also uh, got billboards running alongside all the pathways which passengers walk down. On those billboards it lists out the apparent benefits of HS2, connecting London with eight out of the UK's ten major cities, doubling the number of seats coming out of Euston during peak times. But as many viewers will know, throughout this project there have been question marks. When will it be ready? Officially it's 2029. It's been suggested that could be more like 2040. The cost. It started at 50 billion. It's now looking like it could be north of 100 and today a damning report by the Wildlife Trust on the environmental impact including on a nature reserve in the northwest of London. You're looking at a future stretch of HS2. Should it go ahead of course? The viaduct is going to come from this direction behind us. There's going to be a large imprint here and then it's going to go all the way across the lake to the other side. So the line of trees that you can see there as well will be essentially cut down permanently to make way for it. Broadwater Lake is one of hundreds of nature reserves along the proposed route, which the Wildlife Trust warns could be damaged or destroyed. It's home to swallows, dragonflies, ducks and swans, to name a few. This site is part of the Colne Valley um, and the wildlife is used to being able to move up and down the Colne Valley as it pleases but HS2 is going to cut right across the middle of that habitat. Our wildlife is in crisis across our whole country and there are limited places that these animals can go to. This report joins a long list of complications for the HS2 project. Alongside spiralling costs and claims the public have been misled the Wildlife Trust says this is its most comprehensive look at what it will do to our wildlife and calls for the government to have a rethink. Officially, HS2 is on hold. Ministers are expected to make an official call over the next few weeks over whether to carry on. However, they've previously said they're committed to delivering HS2 and work is still very much happening, which could be telling. HS2 has pushed back pretty strongly, saying the report lacks evidence and isn't accurate. It says it respects the environment, has already done a lot of work to relocate animals and planted 7 million trees to create a green corridor. All measures described by critics as amateurish and too little, too late. It's difficult because obviously works are beginning to start here already um, and we want to manage the site continually for wildlife and for the people that enjoy it so much, so it is a challenge. Well, it was said for a long time that it would be one of it was said for a long time it would be one of the first big jobs Prime Minister Boris Johnson would have to deal with since taking office. What to do about HS2 in the wake of all this criticism? Well, ministers say they have carried out an independent review and the latest reports suggest it, that decision could come around February. But with the time scales we've mentioned, one thing is for sure. That eventual decision by Boris Johnson will, become, will come far before any kind of eventual outcome.